I'm Anna, and I'm a freshman at Marion. All right! And my poem is titled, Things I Often Think at Night. Stars are so much better than humans. They have a cycle, a pattern. They're predictable. Humans aren't. They're rash and undecided, and half the time they're crying. It's pathetic. <laughs> Sometimes I hate being human. One of my biggest flaws as a human is that I'm scared of the dark. I put fairy lights around my room and light them up at night to keep the monsters away. But when they're climbing inside of my room, my brain, shredding my skin apart and slithering into the deepest crevices in my mind, it's almost like they're mocking me. The lights are shining brightly and cheerfully when I am anything but. I can love you freely. I will love you till I shatter. But loving myself, that's something I've never managed to achieve. The fairy lights on my walls, they're stars. Stars with individual spindles stretching billions of kilometers until it crashes into the next. They encompass me, forming a barrier so solid no one can knock it down. No one but myself. And sometimes, if I'm lucky, when I fall asleep, I see her. My stars are shining brightly and she's just a silhouette in the extensive darkness. She's a constant standing there and I profess everything profound enough to include in the prophecy of our demise, and she listens to why that scares me. We were not written in the cosmos. There's no prognostication scribed into the heart of the universe telling me my first breath would be inhaled at 3.42 a.m. on a Tuesday to a mother who had no idea how to take care of herself, let alone another. It's a romantic idea that someone whispered a phrase into the fires of time and slowly, it turned into paragraphs upon paragraphs of people and objects breathed into the very heart of the universe by time itself. It's a handsome thought, but not one, I think. The fairy lights on my walls, they're stars, but they're also a barrier, and they keep everything that can hurt me or scare me out, but they keep me in. There's a reason the girl who sits on the stars sits on the stars and not my bed, because if anything, she scares me the most. We were not written in the cosmos, but I would take my pen and write the executive order to tear my wall down and let her grab my hand and guide me through the galaxy. I would give up my home, my safe haven, and I would let her do anything, and that absolutely terrifies me. Woo!